today we're going to be using Coke, Mentos, and baking soda to do an experiment. And who do we have with us? Seth, and Dina. Andrew, and Dina. Yeah. And Vivian. Yeah. For this one, so we're going to be using four Mentos and a Coke. All right. Go, Jay. That's right. So you might I'm going to stand up. Go, go, go. Go, go. Ah! <laughs> Did you drink it? Oh, God. Put two in, and what's going on? Uh -oh. Nothing. Well, Zach, do you know what happened? It exploded. I and why? And it, I, I think it like reacted. Yeah, it was a physical it reaction it. where the carbon dioxide in the Coke was attracted to the Mentos. And then what happened when Eli put in two after the first explosion? Uh, it did nothing. It did nothing because all the carbon dioxide was gone, right? All right, so now we're gonna use baking soda and Coke. All right, Andrew, open up the Coke. And Zach's gonna dump as much as he can. Three, two, one. Oh. Oh! 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 Oh, it got me! Oh, that's that soda. So, oh. Zach, which one was a higher explosion? Um, baking soda. Do you know why? So baking soda and Coke react because Coke contains an acid and baking soda can basically act as a base in this case. So what, what's going on is that acid in Coke gives hydrogen to baking soda, which makes, produces carbon dioxide. So they made carbon dioxide to fizz together. That's why it went so much higher than with Mentos.